Well, welcome to a spooky edition of the Borderland Blitz, sponsored by Southwest University. I promise that's all going to make sense in just a mm. few minutes here, guys. But uh, yeah, Halloween's upon us. We Big. were supposed to dress up today. I wanted to. Nobody else was down. Turns out I don't even have a costume. I don't even have furniture, so why would any, I have a costume? You don't even have a couch in your place. I don't even have, yep, that's true. Well, we'll get some furniture for JC coming up here. <laughs> well, it's week 10 of the high school football season. Teams coming down to their final chances to make the playoffs for others. It's all about lo locking up that district title. Quick look here at our starting lineup. Our game of the week takes us to District 1-4A. The Riverside Rangers are looking to win their second straight district championship, but standing in their way, the Clint Lions will then go to Jefferson, where the Silver Foxes hosted the Austin Panthers, and then America's the Trailblazers, trying to knock off the first place Franklin Cougars. It was in a, a district. wild game. It was. A District 1-6A matchup. Will's going to have the highlights of that one, but we start in Class 4A. Coach Gary Recorder has had his Riverside Rangers role in this season. 8-1 and one entering the night, undefeated in district play. They needed to beat Clint tonight in order to win the district titles, but the Lions are also, were also undefeated in district play, 2-0. and oh, So a win for them, they would knock off the Rangers from that first place spot. So let's go ahead and go to Riverfront Stadium for tonight's game of the week. And Clint... Proving off the top of this game that they mean business. This is Clint's Isaiah Gonzalez with the toss to Manuel Hulagin. He's going to put the Lions up on the board first, seven to nothing. Clint on top, but here come the Rangers. Angel Munoz with the handoff to Jose Gordado. And he'll take care of the rest. Game tied at seven. And Riverside's Munoz with the big pass right here to Adrian Estrada. Watch this, nice grab. Wow. Goes out of bounds though, but Munoz I'm going to take care of the rest. He'll hand off to Guerrero for the lead at this point. 14 to 7, Riverside. Munoz this time. He's going to go ahead and air it out. Going to air mail this one to Frank Luna. Join off that the nice hands and concentration. It's 21 to 7. Bring Riverside. out more confetti, yeah. In Riverside's Adrian Estrada. Hands off to Guerrero again. Guardado. And just same result there. Riverside was up 28 to 7 at the half. Nice gloves there from that yeah. young lady there. In the third quarter, Rangers continue to pile it on. Oh, check out this nice reverse. Play. And check out the block from Munoz right there coming up. The quarterback. Oh, oh yes. Nice. That's the play right there, the block. Quarterbacks like that eat. Simple as that. Sweet play of the week nominee, possibly. Maybe. Riverside wins their second straight district title as you see the final score in this one. 42 to 7. Let's hear from the excited Riverside Rangers and from their head coach, Gary Recorder. Presenting the district championship to the Riverside Rangers. This is for the Riverside community. This is for our faculty, staff, our coaches, all our teachers, our hardworking kids, our blue collar kids, man. 16 years in the making, man. And these, nobody will ever take it away. These guys are district champions. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you. What made it happen for us today is that we have a bunch of kids that believe in Ranger football. We play defensively lights out, offensively we play lights out, and we weren't going to be denied tonight. Tonight we're champions, baby. Awesome stuff there. Congratulations to, to the Rangers. And how do we follow that up? Well, Play. first of all, shout out to Felix with the El Paso oh, Times, right. but he was not the only media. Exactly. You know, He's not the only me there. media, let alone legend. That's right. First off. If you saw our 10 p.m. newscast, Saul Signs live over from Riverside Boom. High School. And he's got Gary Recorder with him there for a live interview. Let's go ahead and send it Absolutely. out to Saul. You know, I, I heard Knight Ryan talking before we started the Blitz program. I want to talk all things Halloween. Well, I got something for you. How about the Rangers were handing out tricks to the Lions, to the Clint Lions, but a lot of treats for the Rangers. With me now is Gary Recorder, coach, hoisting that up. How does that feel? It feels fantastic, man. 16 years in the making, and um, it's one of those nights where I'm extremely excited and happy, but I'm completely speechless, man. Uh, not surprised, though. Looks oh, like we man. lost uh, the, the, the connection there. Uh, Come Jared, on. Yeah, technical difficulties on that. We apologize for Feet that. Too hopefully, hot. Hopefully we can get back to, to Saul in that. But uh, we did hear from Gary Recorder, though, in yep. the soundbite that they sent. And, and that's the thing. If Gary Recorder yeah. wants to go home, celebrate with his family, yeah. by all means, Saul, yeah. though, is still on the clock. So exactly. we're going to hold him there because we want to hear from him. 
He was there. He got a front row seat. We, we, we're not done with Seoul, hopefully, here for yeah. the Blitz. But we're going to move on uh, for the time being. We're going to keep Seoul hot out there at Riverside. Meanwhile, District 2, 5A, Division 2, Austin and Jefferson. They're both going to the playoffs, guys. But seating at stake in this matchup, our bracketologists had this one circled. Both teams coming in 3-1 and one in District. Austin's offensive coordinator, his beard uh -oh. undefeated in District. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Love the bearded Panthers led 21 nothing in the, at the first half. Then before the break, special whip weapons and tactics. SWAT from Austin. Sergio Rodriguez blocks the punt, and Sebastian Morales recovers for the score. Austin led 28 nothing at half, silencing the La Jeff crowd. But out of the break, here comes Jefferson. Nathan Alcala. How about Nathan? I'll call my own number. Playing for Moreno shoulder. out there. Lowers the shoulder for the touchdown. 28-7 in favor of Austin. Next Panther possession in the wickets here. The ball comes free. Oh. We got a fumble, and the Foxes recover. Austin needs to work in the ball security. Hopefully they don't call in to see these women. That's the Austin uh, administration. They're the principal on the far left. Shout out to all teachers out there. Next play, though, for Jefferson. Alcala dinks it over to Dylan Navarro. Oh. Makes a couple oh. miss. Oh. Touchdown, Foxes. All of a sudden, La Jeff guys in business. Just a two-score game headed into the fourth quarter. Next Austin possession, though. Wait a minute. Another fumble. Oh. Trouble with the exchange. A lot of bear crawls to run on Monday. Jefferson Rock. The Foxes recover the fumble. That guy. Hey, love that. Love the hat. Where did you get that, my man? <laughs> uh, let me know. <laughs> Jefferson, though. Back the other way. Alcala finds his receiver. That's Roman Gomez. Hauls it in for the touchdown, and we're going to a little selly there, the stanky leg. Going for the two-point conversion, though. Rather than kick the PAT, mm. cut it to eight, they went for two. Incomplete, so it's a 9.2 possession game, and at this point, Eric Pichardo and the Panthers had seen enough. Israel Luna out of the wishbone. Mm. That's it. Lights, please, lights, please. Turn out the lights. 65 yards in a ball game. Austin with a statement road win at Jeff. 42-19 the final. What a win there for uh, Austin. At a, a hostile crowd you saw there over at La Jeff. You guys know all about that. Yeah, La Jeff looking so good this year. Obviously, they defend uh, home field pretty well. But, you know, Austin just too much there for the Silver Foxes of Moreno and Julio Cesar Chavez. A lot of Silver Foxes. That guy with the, with the hat. I could, it's a JC, good hat. JC, I could, if you're looking for a costume, you can. It's a good live there is. to wear on Cincinnati on a Friday night. Well, the Ooh. Burgess Mustangs, they currently do hold the first place spot in District 2, 5A, Division 2. Fresh off a of bye week, they were looking to keep that momentum going nice and fresh as they traveled to Irvin tonight to take on the Rockets. Burgess driving here. Check this stiff arm here. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Go score, please. That's, Tavarius uh, Jones, 78 oh, yards. Oh, yeah. Get that man some cupcakes. Sweet I don't say play, kid. Yeah, sweet play of the week nominee for that sure. Is, that's, that's a grown that man. A he takes it 78 yards runner. to the house. And, and, a, and an assault charge on that game as well. They do miss a two-point conversion. Go up 12-0 here after three and out here. Irvin. Jones again. Jones man. again. Are we scoring again? Oh, no. Why not? How's your dance moves, Makes young man? everyone miss and just stroll in. Crib walk. No one's even within the shot there. Jones, too good there. 50 yards there. Uh, Moreno actually shot this. 19 zip. Burgess. Moreno had to go off to breaking news. This qualifies as breaking news, in this my opinion. Is, it is. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. just dirty. I think, I think the Mustangs got some cupcakes it's coming. So in nice to see it twice. In there at the 25. There's Jones. Final score, if we can take it, please. Grown Let's man. See. This was all Burgess Mustangs. 54-20 yep. and an assault charge on that field. Andres, heavy favorites against El Paso High. Is El Paso High haunted, guys? I would I've say yes, yes. Yes, it is. It I've absolutely heard it has. is. Frightening, though, for the Tigers in this one. Halloween, a time for screams. Also, screens. Yo. Malcolm Anderson weaving his way through traffic. Eagles up 7-0. Ensuing El Paso high possession. It, guys, I'm not sure why you consider throwing in the direction of Jeremiah Cooper. It's not going to happen. It's not. It's the Iowa State the commit, way. the Oski, and the leisurely stroll into the end zone for the pick six. It's the second one of the season. Pick six, uh, that runs in Jeremiah's blood. I think is Jeremiah is better he than does. his older brother, Tristan, but Don't he might not that. be as well dressed. Oh. oh. Look at the there trousers there yeah. on Coop. Kind of like the turtleneck. It's pretty good. I actually think Jeremiah, I look at Jeremiah here in man coverage. All just, over. I don't know why you're even testing this guy. It's like a venomous snake in the secondary. I think he actually sees the field, gets a lot of playing time. As Tigers don't even names. get a score yeah. there. They don't even get the lights. Yeah. Andrus, meanwhile, this is uh, Elias Duncan. I call him the sports bureau. Mm. Touchdown. Solo mission. Six points for number six. All Andrus in this one. They break 70 on the Tigers to win their fourth 
district game. Big not Eagle a shutout, though. Not a shutout. El Paso did score. That's right. Uh, Vegas. Uh, the synchronization there from the Eagle. 72 to 8, the Fantastic final. Fantastic stuff, man. Speaking of synchronization. Mm -hmm. We're mm. going to bring in another and member. Speaking of, of Vegas, if you will. <laughs> I say more as a synchronized swimmer. We're going to bring in another member of our crew, and it's uh, Will Heron. We're going to turn our attention to District 16A. Will was over at the sack for today's right. doubleheader. Starting with America's, taking on the first place Franklin Cougars. This one was a good one, right, Will? Will, this was wild, yeah. I heard, man. You know, it was that whole first place Franklin Cougars. Sounds so natural to me. Of course you would mm. say that. Wow. Yeah. We got Willie, you wearing a, Willie, you wearing a black shirt. Because I'm a man in black yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, we've got a homer here. Johnny right. Cash. Okay. Just throwing him back to the old school. That's so cool. Mm. How are we doing, fellas? Y'all had me driving today, but what's new and up the pleasantries? Let's get into some football. Sound of two, Franklin taking on Americas in a big 6-8 matchup. And that looks like Aaron Dumas and his pops right there. Third quarter action. Yeah, Cameron Bird in trouble. Flips it out to McCorder, who then finds himself and is in trouble but he's gonna break out of it. Get himself a nice game there. Fly on down the field, wow. but he's gonna go out of bounds. A little extra effort. Next play, Bird hits his bow. Bo Sparks, who sneaks in for the six. America's turn, Mark Moore from the gun, tries to sneak it, but the ball comes loose, and the Cougars take over. Mr. Ford Truck Award Bird knows what to do with the rock as he hits Franco Hernandez for another touchdown. I went back to the sack. One of the Franklin coaches told me that they won the game by blocking an America's field goal and running it back for the win. Wow. wow. Franklin takes it 25 to 21. How about them apples? Five and three Pebble Hills going head to head against the two and six Mountainwood Rams out of that sack. First quarter was all defense. Nose guard Victor Flores shrugs off the lineman and meets Jacob Ledesma in the backfield for the loss. That man's big. Still in the first quarter, Rams with the ball. Screen. Kevin Melendez hits tight end Isaiah Coronado. JC, I'm looking at you on the screen and oh. the big man takes it 35 yards before shoved out of bounds. The drive would fizzle out. Pebble Hills now driving. Gail Ochoa drops back, doesn't see anyone. Turns on the afterburners to get wow. out of trouble for the first down. <laughs> and as you see, we have Pebble Hills. I believe they're up 22. Excuse me, they're down 22 to 24. That game is still playing right now. Mountain View, Mountain View Lobos taking a trip to San Elizario to do battle against the Eagles. Mountain View strikes first. Lobo quarterback finds Jonathan Galindo on the button hook, oh. who turns it off the field to the promised land. Missed tackles. Those arm tackles, that's not going to work. That's right. Lobo defense is feeling it. His outside linebacker, Jordan Esparza, uses that big paw to bring down Joshua Garcia. Next play, Garcia, feeling the pressure, knows what happens. Gets off the pitch, but Joe Ortega oh. has trouble with the handle and loses the football. Mountain View would recover. Five minutes to go. You want to say that? 55, you see it, 55 14, 14 yeah. Lobos all over San Elzario. Something I noticed being out there today is that it's starting to feel a little bit like fall. Fellas, what's going on? Yeah, Will, uh, don't leave us just yet. Just stay where you are. Mm, we I, got something coming up, but uh, I, First I'm Nate's got an update on that Pebble my, Hills. My, yeah, score. My, spidey sp my spidey sense is telling me 27-22, Montwood currently oh, leading wow. Pebble Hills. Four and a half minutes to play remaining in that one. Will, uh, what is your close. favorite fall beverage, my man? That's pretty good stuff. Fall beverage? Uh, that would have version. to be Rumble Mints. I was, was, okay. was going to say, please don't say Rumble Mints. <laughs> I was going to say that. I said pumpkin the clean spice version. Latte. Give me a pumpkin oh, maybe spice, Will. Anything else? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> That's right, it is. Hot cocoa. That's the correct answer. <laughs> we're going to check Thanks. back in with Cafe you. Cafe con leche. I don't know. We're Any gonna, of those. We're going to bring Will back in in just a second. Don't go anywhere, Will. First, let's go and get to the Eastwood Troopers. It's been a tough season for the Troop. Despite some close losses in district play, they still have a shot at making the playoffs, but they have to win the remaining two games. And that started tonight in West El Paso Ugh. as the Troopers took on the Coronado Thunderbirds. Sorry, JC, you're not going to like these highlights. For the record, we have the uniform first, but first, whatever. First quarter here, Eastwood wasting no time on their first possession. Andrew Martinez hooks up yeah. with Curtis Murillo. Troopers, not, troopers go up six there. to nothing. They would fail on a two-point conversion attempt. But on their next drive, Martinez going to roll to his right. The pass to Aaron Rodriguez. He just punches his way into oh. the end zone. Troopers go up 13 to nothing. Then in the second quarter, I'm sorry, JC, it's more troop. I'm pretty sure Coronado had to have had a highlight. I don't know why we're not seeing a single Martinez, one, Adrian. This time to Michael Caldera, same result. Uh. Martinez sharing the wealth. Three touchdowns to three different receivers. Do you, you guys bet on this game? That made it 20 to nothing. He said we should have. 
and the troopers did what they had to do. They took care of business tonight. Final score, 41 You see Coronado 19. had 19 points. You couldn't show one? Yeah. They did not score while I was there, DC. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Okay, uh, while well, he was there. But, uh, it's, it's been a while since trooper I've done clap. the trooper clap. It's been a while. I you did it last Friday. And uh, here's the thing, guys. Next Friday, that's going to set up America's taking on Eastwood for the final playoff spot in District 16A. That game will be played at Eastwood High School. Franklin, Pebble Hills, Eastlake, those three are all getting in. One spot remains, yep. and we'll settle that next week. It's either going to be the Trailblazers or the Troop. So, so we'll my, my Thunderbirds couldn't spoil it for you. I'm happy for you either way, Adrian. If you're happy... It, no. I'm happy, and that's all that matters. Appreciate it. That's why our friendship is. That's right. It's rock solid. Uh, we're going to bring back uh, Will Heron. Uh, if you saw the newscast earlier, but if you didn't, this is a treat for you. Oh, uh, here. gosh. Uh, his, we're going to uh, do this? Trick or his, treat. His trip to uh, the KLAQ uh, Haunted <laughs> Mansion. Just taking a side track Viewer here. discretion <laughs> advised. That's right. Let's I lost go. 30 pounds in fear <laughs> when go, I do that thing. Let's go ahead and roll that video. Of oh, please Mommy, don't. Uh -oh. don't. Don't let don't watch this alone. <laughs> Jerry, we gotta go, man. I'm not doing this stuff. Let's go, man. <laughs> this way. You guys are mean. Oh, God, Jerry! Don't oh, I can't believe what we just saw. The lady just got killed. I just wanna get out of here. I'm so scared. At the moment, Jerry just coming, man. It just gets more scared, more dangerous everywhere we go. Jerry! Let's play, Oh, no, we just keep going. It's scary, scary. I don't, I don't want to go any further. I don't. Keep I'm going, a limit now. <laughs> it just, it just gets worse and worse, man. Like, come on, come on, Jerry. It's fourth quarter. Come on, Jerry. 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 Come on, so, Jerry! Uh, and Jerry! Oh, Jerry! He was with Jerry Nahada. Oh, sure. dear Lord, our, Jerry! Our, our viewers know Jerry, Jerry. Nahada. That was his photographer. Will, and, it, uh, yeah. Will, for a bit there, I thought you were part of the haunted house you, <laughs> with how much you were running around. I almost died and they just kind of slapped me up against the wall there because I was terrified. That thing is gigantic. It's the, it's the whole movie theater yep. in Summer yeah. Park and That's it just big, doesn't dark end. place. I think you need to take your suit to the cleaners, man. Or <laughs> My pants, too. Iron That's pressed or something. <laughs> Will, I was quite scared. Here's the thing, though. You're you're a grown man. You're you are a so strong told. dude. But that just lets you know how scary that haunted house really is. True. I've always felt safe around Will. I'll tell you that much. Anytime That's what around I'm told. and Will's there, I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm covered. I don't know if I feel that way still. After seeing that, I'm like, maybe I won't take care. Of I can move fast when I need to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can. Uh, Will, thank you yeah, for doing that. Thanks. Honestly, you were there. <laughs> you were there pretty late. You burned yeah. the, the midnight oil. Good TV as always. Uh, did you have some fun out there? I did. I had a great time with old Jerry. Uh, he heard me screaming all night, I bet. <laughs> I think we all heard you screaming. <laughs> the west side of El Paso heard me. Uh, with that note, we're going to take our first commercial break here, but we still got plenty more to come here on the Borderland Blitz. A lot of games to get through as we're going to turn our attention to District uh, 258, Division 1, Bel Air taking on Del Valle, and then we'll also head to Las Cruces where the Bulldogs were hosting the Knights from Oregon Mountain. We're going to hear from Saul. Night, Sarah. Drive safe. <laughs> Thank you. Drive safe. Okay. Bye bye, mommy. You guys ready? Sure, you got everything? Drive We're safe. Fine. We all say it. Chevy can help you do it. The Chevy family of SUVs. Find new peace of mind, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get interest free financing for 72 months on select popular SUV models. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Edu and enroll today. Next week, some New Mexico voters will be asked to approve $50 million for a soccer stadium. Will it deliver what's being promised? It's going to promote economic development. Are the right people being asked to pay for it? It is going to raise rents. It is going to raise property taxes. And is this Albuquerque bond election a preview of El Paso's soccer future? Watch Kate Beery's special report, United in Sport. 
divided support. Monday at 10, only on ABC7. <laughs> have to take your word it sounded really cool. I, think, I think they are listening to it actually i think the audio is going on is that i just think we can i just think we can't hear it is that, that is east lake east lake east lake sounds of the game the east Link lake at home if oh. you can hear it also congrats con uh best of luck to the marching bands there's a big competition going on at the sun bowl tomorrow it's the area round of the marching contest so any of you band members out there best of luck tomorrow as you compete for area when are, when are we going to hear your ep from your blink 182 band last episode of the season maybe last episode yeah for now we're going to go ahead and turn our attention to district 15a division one second week of district play here and we begin over at del valle high school where the conquistadores are hosting the bel air highlanders go to conquest stadium here good entrances it was a close game no at the first half. Yet. You're going to see Del Valle quarterback Jesse Ramos going to hand it off to Juan Archuleta. Del Valle on the board at this point. Oh, oh. that kid. He's already got his treats. That's Into right. Candy. Yeah. Valley, oh. out there. We got a fumble oh. and we got a scoop and, and that man score. got his treat as well. That was Dominic Calderon. Valor did make it interesting in the first half, but ultimately Del Valle would pull away in this one. Final score, as you'll see, the Conquistadores get the win tonight. 42 to seven in the final. Year of the Scorpion, uh, District 15A, Division Two. Kenya Tio uh, is at the top of the district, but right on their heels, mm -hmm. those Horizon Scorpions, one of my favorite teams to watch so far this season. A win tonight against Hanks sets up a Horizon Kenya Tio matchup for all of the marbles in said district. First, though, the Knights in their way over at Excalibur Stadium there. Home of Stephanie Valle. Sword mm -hmm. in stone. Early on, here's our man, Ernie Garcia. So we play of the week winner once again. How you feeling, Ern? Feel the Ern. Into the end zone for the touchdown, early lead in favor of Horizon. This play now, was I was going to say that is a dangerous pass. Yeah, that one is intercepted by Angel Cimental, who just followed me on Twitter. Touchdown, Horizon. Do so if you haven't. See what happens when you follow me. Did you follow him back? You scored. You scored. <laughs> did, did you follow him back? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'll get to it. Okay. Uh, Hanks. Oh, oh tip, tip love you like a tip drill yeah. there. I like that. Could be. We could be seeing that again on Sunday night. That was Eric Folk Doll. Folk Doll. Yeah. Folk we don't care about the young folks. Horizon though wins this one 54. 14. That was an uh, Eric Bjorn reference. There Great song. You. Yeah, you like that one? Absolutely. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, next good week, stuff. as, as Nate rock. mentioned, for all the Marvels, Horizon, Kenya Tio for the district title. The Eagles should mention we're on a bye this week. But yeah, Horizon, Kenya Tio next week, the district Dylan title. McKim and, and, of Good and, Morning El Paso. And we're Big covering one of my favorite music. schools here, Parkland. Just looking for another win here on the road against Isleta, trying to get that second win in district play here. Right there, Keishon Saldivar throws it downfield here to Marion Crest He's Daniels for the touchdown. Extra point is good. Matador's up 14 zip. Why not put another one here? Oh, big run. Physical. Good tackling. Oh, Phys Bannon. it's a physical game. This football is at least. Another quarter in here. Looking down the field. Just makes one man miss right there. Isaiah Beasley. For she's runs it in for the touchdown. Extra point good as well. Great shots here from Brianna Perez. Yeah. Always showing love to the band. She went. She was. To Parkland High and School. That's, yeah, exactly. So she goes to the game and Parkland ends up winning. There you Maybe go. we need to send, uh, things happen we'll send, send Brianna, Brianna to some more there. Parkland games there. That's a nice win for Parkland. They would yeah. struggled a little bit the past couple weeks. It's definitely good. Get some uh, closer to a playoff berth there. I think they'll, they will get a playoff spot in that district. What well, I'm gathering here is like every team of our alma mater won except for Coronado. Sorry, How did the St. Ignatius yeah. Wolf Other than do in Stephanie Chicago? Stephanie Valle's night. But yeah, everybody else, winners. Come on, T-Birds. Well, we're going to kick it over to New Mexico. It's the final week of the regular season there. Playoff matchups will come out tomorrow night. The Las Cruces Bulldogs, they know they're going to the playoffs, but their final regular season game tonight was against the Oregon Mountain. The Oregon Mountain Knights, the Knights still winless in district play, so they were playing for pride tonight. To the Field of Dreams, we go here. Las Cruces, as I mentioned, wants to impress for a high seed in the state playoffs. And Oregon Mountain, well, again, just playing for pride. 
Trying to play spoiler for the Las Cruces Bulldogs on senior night here. In the first play from scrimmage, was any indication of things to come? Oregon Mountain was in for a long oh, night. Whoa. Dallas Boyd, great running oh, quarterback. Oh, yeah. He's going to go 45 yards. He's got like 99 speed. He's going to get taken down at Maybe the Knights. Maybe 97. He gets he taken caught. down at the Knights 11-yard line. Two plays later, Elijah Ogas Wish takes wrong. it from a yard out. 7 to nothing. Dogs love the purple love hair. Love the there hair. Yeah. Las Cruces doesn't waste any time scoring again. Ogas here from three yards out. That's not the same play. That's what I nope. thought. Yeah. It makes it 14 to nothing. Las Cruces in the second quarter. This time, someone else is going to take the rock to score. This is Zake Hawkins. Splits Oregon Mountain's defense in half from nine yards out. Formation Bulldog was efficient. Bulldogs up 20 by 21 nil. And if that wasn't bad enough, watch Dallas Boyd put take it right yourself, speed Boyd. as he blasters the blisters the Oregon Mountain defenders for a 35-yard touchdown run there. Las Cruces would lead 28 to nothing. It was 42 to seven at the half. The Bulldogs run away with it, 49 to 13 the final to go five and four, and they await word on their playoff future tomorrow afternoon. I'll be covering for Nate tomorrow, so I'll have that for you tomorrow at 10. And We're again, that's Kate those Beery's matches. school. Yeah. So. so we'll let Kate know. Kate, yeah. Kate will be here tomorrow, so she'll know when her Bulldogs are going to She'll know here. when we know. Since Teresa's is going to the playoffs as well, as well guys, they're having a very, uh, very great season. They've got a 41 nothing win over Chaparral tonight. Julian Cobos and company looking real good. Then back here in the Lone Star State, it was Tornillo paying a visit to Crane, Texas, to take on the Golden Cranes. Uh, not a good day for the Coyotes tonight. They fall 62 to nil. Time for our favorite part of the show where we check in on social favorite. media. I think Will it is my favorite. It's definitely favorite. our favorite. No, it's definitely it my favorite. I think and Will I think is my favorite. Brianna's like a good no. third favorite. <laughs> I think it's the viewer's favorite too, honestly. Oh. Like, like I said, she's not even a full season in and she's already <laughs> dishing out attitude. Well, that's what happens when you work here on the Blitz. Oh. But all right, let's get started. Anyways, I want to make sure to remind everybody to follow us on Twitter at Borderland Blitz as always. And now let's see what our hashtag has in store for us today. Miss Maribel Guillen yep. representing, mm. representing Principal from Riverside. District 1 for a football district champions, the Riverside Rangers, the true pride of the Lower Valley. I see like Jeff is That's next, a nice though. trophy. <laughs> that is a nice trophy. It's a very nice trophy. Who keeps it? Uh, the school. All right. The keeper. It's trophy case. Silver Fox right. is fighting back with the third force fumbles. Of course, Viva La Jeff, always part of our part of our part of our rotation here. i was at this game and i was Nate actually looking was, i'm like who is the one who is controlling this i phonics? actually know the person behind the account ah. so mm. old spice That's, old spice there we go smell and good gentlemen like me when, when it's a big game chicos got some chicos over at exactly. Cologne. yeah That's do you right. guys like chicos or oh yeah yeah yes. absolutely I, it's a lover hate thing with well here's the chicos. thing hold on i gotta put nate on the spot nate have you been to chicos i've not no you got to do that before you move out of El Paso, oh man. Oh, my God. What are you doing tomorrow? Nate Who's to is say moving? I'm moving soon? <laughs> well, here, I know you've, yeah, he still has a contract, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be alarmed. Did I, did I get yeah. traded? But I he's I a Chicago about? native, and when that time does come, he needs to try Chico's. I, I will actually say my, the best tacos I've had in El Paso, I'm going to give this a plug. Don't say it. It's blasphemous. The Palomino Tavern. Right. What about Don Cuco? Dude, the Palomino Tavern t tacos, affordable Bang for Ometa the buck. is out the there. The presentation, too, uh, is great. Ambiance. JC, go, you and I I'm going to go Cometa. I'm going to yeah, go Cometa. Go. Cometa's got That's some good tacos and flautas. And then, of course, there you go. You we're actually all, talking yeah. social media. Yeah. Take it away. We're Diana. actually talking. Yeah, there you go. That's right. This is a football show. And then, of show. course, if you haven't caught all the scores, they're here on our website at kva.com. We're taking Nate out to that? Chico's tomorrow. Yes, we are. You win, Nate? <laughs> You're, yep. also on, you're on TV, brother. Uh, <laughs> you he's in? got the day off tomorrow, so he's he's, he's, he's in. He's wide open. Go. Go yeah. I am off tomorrow. I've got, I've got no plans. <laughs> Bring your shade. All I've got tomorrow is the minors plus twelve. That's We're all taking I've got. the top off. We're going to Chico's. Adrian, you can join. Oh us yeah, over. Speedy's Pizzas as well. We want to give a shout out to Speedy. Yes. Thanking them. Oh. Brianna's head, Brianna's actually the one who goes and picks up the pizza. Party yeah, they, they, so they, like, they know yeah. me by name now. They got so. they got a, her photo framed there at <laughs> Speedy's there. Uh, thank you very much, Brianna. We want to send uh, real quick here, show you this video that we got from Hank's High School. This was pretty cool. Monica Castillo. She might oh, a familiar name from, if you from lit, the radio from a radio personality. She was a former DJ at Power 102. She was actually doing the PA announcing at tonight's game at Hank's. It was just really cool to see uh, our photographer Sean Felice recognized it, shot video of it. And uh, yeah, it's good to see uh, Monica Castillo. If we can crank up the Nats a bit here, I can think. We hear it? Here's some of uh, Monica Castillo. I mean, you've heard her, her on the radio yeah. a thousand times before. You know what her voice sounds like. Well, well it looks at this point, uh, here we go. I think think we get some. Looks like we've got the band. <laughs> we got the band playing right there. I, I think we got the notes mixed up with her editor but, uh, and her shooter. It's okay though, you can see it's her. 
Really cool to see, though, as I mentioned, though, Monica Castillo, again, former DJ. Oh, from. Uh, oh. Excalibur Stadium, that is your Hanks Knight Band. There you there go. There it is. That's yeah. what we wanted to Golden hear. Pipes. Yeah. Uh, I was a big fan of, uh, I'm a big, still a big fan of Power 102, and uh, I remember listening to her back, you know, for a number of years. Adrian, so you're into hip hop. Cool. Is that oh, one? Yeah. Is that I you were into one? punk rock. I love, I love all kinds of music. Is that 102.1? Is it Power 102? Power 102. Power 102. Power 102. For the record, yeah. though, our affiliate is 93.1 Kiss FM. So in the mornings, yeah. just tune into Mike and Tricia. Got to go. I've got a couple Thank Spotify you. playlists out there that are pretty good if you if you hit me up. <laughs> well, how are we barely hitting T's B here we are at 11.06? This is our longest We still have ever. some more games to get to. We're going to recap the games from last night just in case you missed them. We'll also take a look back at the sweet play of the week in case you didn't know who won for week number nine. Don't wait and enroll today at Southwest University. We offer more than 20 associates and bachelor's degrees to start the career of your dreams now. Enroll by November 5th at Southwest University to become a professional in the medical imaging or business field. We have flexible schedules and short terms. Transfer your credits today to Southwest University and reach your goal faster. Last day to enroll is November 5th. For more information, visit us at southwestuniversity.edu. Southwest University makes you happen. Looking to shift into an electric vehicle? El Paso Electric can help. We're your resource to learn about EVs, special charging rates, and potential incentives. Choosing an EV opens the road to a cleaner future with zero emissions on pure electric power. Plus, EVs give you a smoother and quieter drive. Driving green can save you some green. With a lower need for maintenance than gas engines and a charging rate that's about half the cost of gasoline. There are so many reasons to go electric. Get started today at epelectric.com ev. If you're ready to take the next step in your truck driving career, Arribas Enterprises Transportation is ready for you. As Best of El Paso 2020 Award recipients, we're a proud member of our community and offer outstanding opportunities in the transportation industry. We offer unmatched miles and flexibility and an excellent benefits package that's good for you and your family. To find out more on how we can help you on your next career move, call us or visit us online. Arribas Enterprises Transportation Services, committed to excellence. We had high school football last night in the land of enchantment. I was at the Field of Dreams. Mayfield Trojans needed to get a victory against Deming to win a district title, but Deming wasn't going to let Mayfield off the hook easy. Trailing 14-7, under a minute to play. Deming with the rock. These guys were heavy underdogs, but don't look at the ledger. This is Tony Aguilar up top to Fabian Reyna. Game-tying touchdown with 30 seconds to play, and we'd go to overtime. We're in the extra period. Mayfield with the rock first. Check out the concentration. Watch the feet here wow. from Jesus Montoya. Inbound. Ooh. I didn't see him step wow. out. Neither did the zebra. House in. call. So Mayfield scores. Deming needs a touchdown to keep it alive. This is fourth down from the five-yard line. Joey Reza out around the outside and stonewalled. Just like how I like my pizza. Stuffed at the three-yard line. And Mayfield survives. 21-14. This was a slog of a matchup here i was out there i saw every single snap of that game last night and then you were also before that when you were at the first game over at the sack at 4 p.m that afternoon feels one. like many moons yeah. ago but yes i was at chapin el dorado prior to that mm -hmm. chapin ma remarkable turnaround under second year head coach ryan warner there he came over from franklin where he was the oc skies were clear for takeoff yesterday mason standifer dude has some long hair he throws a long ball as well up top to zeke pastron Beats the defender all the way to the end zone. That's 12 on 12 crime in the open field. Touchdown, Chapin. Tell me, is this deja vu? Justin B. I think it's the exact yeah. same play. Nice arm. Yeah. yeah. Again, this time it's Anthony Rivera. Deja vu, Jay Beebs. JC, you know that song? I do not. From what? Olivia Rodrigo. With Olivia Rodrigo? Uh, deja vu. Oh, yeah, Rodrigo also has a deja vu. And, uh, oh, that Zeke, actually is a great song with Olivia Rodrigo. Zeke Pastran also has another touchdown Strawberry here. Oh, the Euro on the celly. I like that. Pastran is one of the best receivers in the city. All Chapin, 48-7 over El Dorado. Now was over at the nightcap. Eastlake taking on Socorro Ooh. District 1-6A matchup. The Falcons know they're headed to the playoffs, but the Bulldogs, good mascot, Bulldogs came to play early. Check out Socorro's Adrian Acosta. Check out this sack right there. Oh. Big time hit. So Coro feeling good in the okay. early minutes here. They haven't won a district game this season. Came Quarterback Brian Leva to Isaiah Aguilar. Check out the tip, catch, and oh. score. Oh, no gloves either. 
So no gloves. Old school. So old Cor school football. Socorro up seven to nothing so in the first Marvin quarter. Some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross. Eastlake, though, finally wakes up from the one yard out. Hand off to Elijah, Elijah Uribe for the touchdown. Game tied at seven in. It's second quarter. Falcons on the move. Sebastian Rendon to Samuel Atilano. And Samuel's just going to go ahead and take care of the rest. Put the Falcons up 14 to seven. All Falcons from that point on, they win 43 to 20. The final well, for the third week in a row, guys, a player from El Paso was named the Built for Tough Texas High School Football Player of the Week. The week nine honor going to a Franklin Cougar. Congratulations here to quarterback Cameron Bird receiving the honor for all of Class 6A throughout the state. In the win against Coronado last week, Bird threw for 326 yards and four touchdowns. He also had a rushing TD in this game and ran for 48 yards. Congrats to Cameron on that accomplishment. But let's go ahead and talk about our sweet play of the week. Right. Those Del Valle Conquistadores, the winners for week nine. Was Nate wearing shades This or was the play right here. Jesse Ramos with Swim. the keeper and the nice dance Boom. moves for the touchdown. What do you think, JC? Was I wearing shades? I'm calling it shades. Let's go ahead and show the shades presentation. Shades and pants, not shorts. The answer to that, uh, yeah, there is Nate Ryan. Oh, good shirt. Delivering the goods oh, to that's the That's an Christmas Abercrombie others. shirt. Uh, I don't yeah. believe that is Abercrombie. I think it is. I think it is. I own a couple of them. It's moves, nice. Not that one. No. You, it's super nice. You can I just like it. You can watch the entire presentation right now at KVIA. Com. For now, we're going to go ahead and toss it to break, our final break. When we come back, we'll show all the scores for you just in case you missed them. Stay with us. <laughs> Need cash? Title Max offers two ways to get it. Get cash using your car title. Go to TitleMax.com, enter the car year, make, model. See how much you can get. Title Max also offers personal loans. No title required. Check out TitleMax.com when you need more cash. Check out TitleMax.com and shop us for rates. Get up to $2,500 with a personal loan or up to $10,000 using your car title. And you'll say, I got my title back with Title Max. It's a title back with Title Max. westerntech.edu and enroll today. Is back pain wrenching your life? The Neck and Spine Center at UMC is ready to help. We have the largest group of neurosurgeons in the region, the most innovative treatments and techniques, and the expertise to treat even the most complex back pain cases. Getting you back to living life faster is our number one priority, so you can live pain less. The Neck and Spine Center at UMC. Week 10 is in the books. Go ahead and recap the scores for you. Riverside, district champs over Clint tonight, 42 to seven. Soul Mountain signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy. We lost, we lost our connection there. <laughs> is he this still there? <laughs> He's still uh, waiting for that live hit. You can go home, Soul. Mountain View winners over San Jose Audio, 55 to 14. Franklin, close one against America, is they, but they, Edge out the win there, 25 to 21. Eastwood, winners over Coronado, 41 to 19. Sorry, JC. This game just went final. We weren't able to update it, but Pebble Hills came back to beat Montwood, 30 to 27 was the final. The Spartans victorious over the Rams tonight. But yeah, there you have that. And then you have Austin over Jefferson, 42 to 19. So I was caught on my phone earlier on camera. I was looking at the updated, updated score of that score. matchup there. Yeah. Andrus all over El Paso, 72 to eight. Burgess, 54 over Irvin's 20. Parkland 49, Isleta 8, Del Valle 42, Bel Air 7, Horizon over Hanks 54 14, 62 Peace, Crane over Tornillo. We got more scores for you here. Las Cruces all 